Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's do another in-depth perfume review. Today I have a fragrance for you from the brand Floral Street, but before we get into the video, I do want to be upfront in letting you guys know that I did connect with Floral Street over on the Skeepers platform, which is a platform that creators can utilize to connect with different brands. And so as soon as I saw Floral Street pop up over on Skeepers, I immediately went and applied to be able to review this particular fragrance. I have actually purchased Floral Street fragrances in the past. Um, I have a review on my channel of their Wild Vanilla Orchid. When I initially purchased that one, I did purchase it in the travel size. But um, as soon as fall rolls around, I will be picking up the full size of that one because I fell in love with that particular fragrance. So I kind of already knew that I enjoyed the Floral Street fragrances. So um, all opinions expressed here are my own. Skeepers um, does not require that you leave a positive review. They require that you leave an honest review. Um, it's one of the reasons that I still continue to check back on Skeepers to see if there are brands that I'm interested in. Honestly, there's not a ton of brands on there that are cruelty free. And if you are new to my channel, that is something that is personally important to me. Um, the Floral Street brand is actually not only cruelty free, but they are also vegan. So if that is something that is important to you personally, feel confident in purchasing from this brand. They are not testing on animals and their formulations are all vegan. So again, thank you to Floral Street for sending me this bottle so that I could share my thoughts with you guys. And without further ado, let's get into the video. It will be linked in the description box down below. Um, so if you wanna know where to purchase this product, read other people's reviews, check that out. If you are ever interested in smelling any of the Floral Street fragrances in person, they are carried at Sephora. My local Sephora always has all of the fragrances uh, in stock, and so they have testers available. So if you're just not sure, or you wanna kind of test it to see how the fragrance jives with your body chemistry, because that's a thing. <laughs> there are some fragrances that you know can turn on you or that just don't work quite right with your unique body chemistry you can pop into your local Sephora and you should be able to test these out to see which one maybe is the best fit for you. But today we are discussing their new fragrance, Sweet Almond Blossom. Oh, you guys. First of all, as a sucker for like packaging and presentation, I think that Floral Street kind of wins in this department. Their artwork is always stunning and the artwork on this particular perfume bottle is extra unique because this is actually a Vincent Van Gogh painting. So Floral Street does have a partnership with the Vincent Van Gogh Museum um, in Amsterdam. They are inspired by the artwork and then they also include artwork um, from the artist on the bottle. So um, this is an actual Vincent Van Gogh painting. I believe it is called Almond Blossom. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Um, when you get your box, this is how it will arrive to you. So everything's held together with this little rubber band here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open it. What I like about this is pretty much everything here is going to be recyclable. So um, this is cardboard, the inside is cardboard. Your eau de parfum, which is what this is, is protected nicely in this box here. And let's take a look at this beautiful bottle, you guys. Ooh, it's stunning. <laughs> oh, I am a sucker for perfume bottles. And this one right here, I think is so unique and interesting. The shape of it, I think is unique and interesting. And I love being able to see the artwork through the front of the bottle. You can also admire it from the back as well. And this one actually has, um, Vincent engraved across the front here. Hopefully you can see, oh, it's kind of hard to see, but it does say Vincent. And the artwork is this painting, which you can find in the Van Gogh Museum. Um, when I first got this, um, I thought like, oh, it doesn't come with a lid. Um, it, there are other perfumes that, you know, are kind of presented this way, but this, it does have a lid, but it is actually in the shape of the, the sprayer. <laughs> So it just mirrors the, the shape of that. 
but it's on there really nicely so this is not a lid that you are going to lose um, as far as presentation this is top notch in my book so we are going to go through this review we're going to go ahead and read up a little bit about the fragrance about the fragrance notes i'm going to tell you what i pick up um when i am wearing this what what notes i pick up when i'm wearing this fragrance we'll talk about the projection we'll talk about the longevity and we'll kind of wrap it up from there so i'm going to go ahead and pull this up on the website just so we can do a little bit of reading together by the way this 1.7 ounce size retails for i believe it's 84 89 dollars apologies um, the 0.33 fluid ounce retails for $34. So that's where the four came from. Okay, so they put this in the floral fragrance family and the scent type is a fruity floral. Um, the keynotes here are pink pomelo, apple blossom, and vanilla, but let's read a little bit further into their description because there's a few other fragrance notes that are definitely gonna be worth mentioning here. So their fragrance description reads, a blue sky natural high all year round, a daydreamer's fantasy. Mouthwatering natural pomelo and juicy passion fruit float over clouds of delicate apple blossom. Creamy vanilla, sandalwood, and earthy tonka bean are beautifully balanced with explosions of otherworldly crisp green matcha tea. All right, let's discuss. <laughs> okay, first of all, this fragrance is kind of interesting to me because when I smell it in the bottle, I really get predominantly those, um, those fruity notes. So that pink pomelo is the first thing that hits me. It's, it's beautifully done because it's not terribly acidic. It's just, it's just nicely balanced. Um, next, it really does go, uh, just smelling it in the bottle here, it really does go straight into that passion fruit. I love all things passion fruit. The funny thing about this fragrance is that when once I spray it on my skin, the passion fruit goes away. <laughs> I kind of wish it was still there, but it goes away. But in the bottle, I absolutely pick that up just right after that pink pomelo. Oh, it's so beautiful and juicy. Now, immediately after that, it does kind of travel into that apple blossom. And then at the very bottom, I do smell the sandalwood. I pick up that tonka bean. The tonka bean is, it's earthy, but it's not like an overly earthy scent. Like it doesn't come across as too aggressive in that respect. Again, just really nicely balanced. And the vanilla, you guys, that creamy vanilla note, ooh, so good. Now, in terms of like a like green matcha tea type note, I don't, I don't smell that, but I feel like I almost pick up a touch of like green apple, like almost like a touch of Granny Smith apple, which is not mentioned here, but I kind of smell that on Cold Sniff. All right, let's go ahead and see what kind of, it's a beautiful spritz. <laughs> let's see what kind of spritz this fragrance has. Oh, do you see that nice light mist? Heavenly. So let's let this dry down for just a second here. It's so crazy to me that the passion fruit just goes away. <laughs> Now, definitely on, on your unique body chemistry, you, you might pick up that passion fruit, but it just really kind of almost instantly disappears. But the pink pomelo, the apple blossom, first thing that I pick out once I spray it on my skin. As it continues to dry down, more of that vanilla, the sandalwood, and that really nicely done taga bean come through. And then also just a, again, a touch of that like almost green apple. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. This is definitely what I would consider maybe a little bit more of like a feminine type of fragrance. 
Um, they say that it is a unisex fragrance. Um, and certainly anyone can wear whatever fragrance that, you know, brings them joy, makes them happy. That is, that's what I do. <laughs> so there are sometimes more masculine fragrances that I gravitate towards, especially if they have a beautiful amber base to them. But this one here to my nose definitely smells a little bit more feminine. In terms of like its seasonality, um, I think this is one that could be enjoyed year round. Because of the addition of the sandalwood, the vanilla, and the tonka bean, it almost kind of leans a little teensy tiny bit gourmand. And during the fall and winter months, I love when my perfumes have just a touch of gourmand to them. And I think this one does. So this is one that I could see myself wearing fall, winter, spring, summer. It's stunning, you guys. And sometimes, for me personally, it's kind of hard to find fragrances that I really like wearing year-round. I tend to be pretty seasonal with both my home fragrance as well as my personal fragrance. I will make exceptions here and there if I'm craving something in terms of a perfume that doesn't necessarily fit within the season that I'm currently in. I will wear that fragrance. I'm a little more strict with home fragrance, but with perfumes, I have I give myself a little bit more leeway. But this one truly, I think, is one of those seasonless scents that you can just enjoy whenever you want to wear it. I love this so much, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. I think I like this just as much as their Wild Vanilla Orchid. Um, the fragrances, I would say, kind of fall within the same family to me, so I'm not surprised that I really enjoy this one. It's gorgeous. Let's talk about the longevity and projection of this fragrance. First of all, I do find the Floral Street fragrances to be quite um, noticeable. They're, they're pretty prominent. It's not a fragrance line that you need to like overdo it with in terms of like, you know, like hosing down your entire body with the perfume. Um, I think, you know, just your pulse points on your wrist, maybe behind your ears or on your chest. I feel like that is plenty to get uh, the, you know, personal enjoyment, but to also, you know, have it project out in front of you as well. And in terms of that projection, I think it does a really, really good job. Um, the longevity of Floral Street fragrances, I have found to be quite good, actually. I can easily wear this for about five or six hours before feeling like maybe I need to reapply it. That is a pretty decent wear for me in terms of perfumes. Um, I do find that when I apply this to moisturized skin, it tends to last a little bit longer. I do have a perfume tips and tricks recommendation video that I will also link in the description box down below. That will just help you get the most out of your fragrances. Um, for those of you that you know are really into perfume, most of this stuff is probably pretty self-explanatory, but if you are new to the world of perfume, I think that's a great video to watch just to get a little bit more out of the fragrances that you have. But you guys, this one here is a winner for me in terms of the fragrance profile in terms of the projection and the longevity. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I definitely feel honored to be able to review this one. Um, it's a beautiful scent. I think a lot of you are going to like it. Um, let me know if you have smelled this one yet and what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I will be, again, linking it in the description box, but you can find it at your local Sephora as well. So pop into store and try it on, see what you think about it. Hopefully it jives just as well with your body chemistry. A big thanks to Floral Street for sending this out for consideration. I really do appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would take the time to subscribe. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you found it helpful and there are more fragrance reviews coming in the near future. Thanks a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys. Toodaloo!